Hello, my wonderful and magical, mystical Pisces. Hi, thank you for being patient with me. You know, we save the best for last. My beautiful Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I'm going to bring you guys a message from the Holy Spirit. Help me to read for my beautiful Pisces today. Tap me into their energy. The highest vibration possible. We have healing on the table. Yep. Looks like they wanted you to know that. Calling in divine angels, archangels, guides, my guides, pure guides, shamanic guides, healers. Calling in Jesus. Calling in the Holy Spirit. Come and be with me while I read for my Pisces. I'm using my triple thread set before I read for you. This is to draw in the uh, attraction, energy to attract naturally, um, positive energy and receptivity of your messages. Oh, there's an owl outside my window. Oh, snap. Hey. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. There's an owl right outside my window. Oh, for you guys. <laughs> Clear negativity. I've already done the work. I've already used these. And then, of course, sacred anointing spray for setting your intentions and putting yourself in a uh, affirmation of being in a holy state. I come into this place where I find myself wanting to be blessed and able to clear all my ego and to come in with love for my Pisces. And you can't be a good reader with an ego problem. Period. Point blank. Healing. Imagine yourself and your loved ones surrounded by light, Pisces. You don't have to use your imagination. It's not like you guys don't have one because you really do. Feel. It says feel. Imagine and feel. That that particular relationship is being healed at this very moment. You have, you have this great capacity. Healers. Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me what Pisces is. Uh, I'm, I'm burning ancient times incense from Ganesh along with my sage right now. Feeling extremely zen. Hmm. And loving me some Pisces people. Come in, angels, guides. You're very welcome. Change the vibration in here. Bring me the answers that I need to tap into the collective of Pisces, Sun, and Rising, Venus, North Node. Cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you. Keep yourself on a high vibe. Okay? We want to take a look. Pisces. I'm calling on the energies of air, which is spirit, and communication. Water, which is feelings, emotions, and movement. Fire, which is passion, action. Sometimes very threatening because fire burns things away. Fire energy will burn things down. If it's not careful, if it's not managed by the right person. And earth. The real physical body you're in, the people around you, the home you live in, where you are, what you own, and what is coming towards you. Financial, physical things. Could be any of that. Ether, Holy Spirit, Spirit, space between spaces, the guides. Ooh, you came up as a two of wands. Wow. What are you guys deciding at the moment? Two of wands means you're, you want to take action on something. Because you got one thing going on already. One of the wands would be stabilized. Something you stably know. And then something you want to do. Wow. Clarify that for me for my collective. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What is it? What's with our Pisces spirit guides? 
Three of Cups. Oh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now the Three of Cups. Someone wants to move towards something that makes them happy. Um, something that brings them joy or even like uh, friendships or um, in the negative sense, it would be when I say negative sense, I would be the, uh, uh, unfaithful behavior of going to either uh, going out to drink with friends to deciding to go drink with friends or going out to see another lover or going out to have a threesome or something like that. I'm not going to say y'all are like that. But I'm saying that's what's showing up. Three of Cups is rejoicing and celebrating with friends for the most part. We'll take it as that for now because my intention is for healing. So what's going to heal my beautiful Pisces? What else is going on with their energy? Um, King of Pentacles is in reverse. Now this to me is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is Earth. It is... Um, a husband or someone that doesn't have a lot of power or money could you be deciding if a king of Pentacles is upright he's married solid grounded dependable makes money works in a bank he could be somebody of power why is this man of power in reverse for Pisces not communicating there's no movement with that king energy some of you are not talking to a king of pentacles a masculine perhaps who is in the reverse you're trying to decide what is this tell me about your significant partner please spirit holy spirit who are they dealing with the most part what is this energy that they find themselves dealing with lover Pisces, 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 Pisces. Let me have it. The devil and the Hierophant. So this could be a witch doctor. Yeah. Maybe somebody's healing from bad magic. God almighty. Why do you guys put me through this? King of Cups, another water sign who is either tempting you, it could be this one. King of Pentacles would be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This would be a Capricorn. I'm talking to somebody. Maybe this is a wicked Capricorn or someone that. Maybe this is a wicked energy that's trying to distract you. Somebody's not talking to you on purpose. Makes you want to go out and, and visit with other people. You're trying to decide what to do. As far as healing goes, you've been, a, you've been under duress. And it could be spiritual as well. They could be using religion against you, which would be devil energy. And it could be another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven of Wands. They want you to put your guard down while, so that they can mind mess with you and keep you from healing. Queen of Wands is reverse somebody who's doing bad magic in the background. You're dealing with witchcraft. Verbal witchcraft. This is dark. This is fast movement. You only want to heal. And this person is keeping you stuck in hermit mode, which is okay because it makes you wise and intelligent, makes you look at things from a higher perspective. You, you pull back. So you pull back and all you want is this, but right now you are absolutely not talking to this earth sign person. You are not talking to that person because they are wicked just so you understand or they say they love you this could be religion too what the hell seven of wands is they want you to put down your guards put down your spiritual warfare so that they can get in and infiltrate you with lies 
That's it. Are you ready to hear the truth? Because that is the truth for some Pisces. Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy and not to learn the truth. Seven of Cups. Okay. So someone wants you to feel like you don't have options. I'm about to kick that person's ass. I'm going to kick it right now in the name of Jesus. I, I cancel you out and I ask my Pisces to stay a very, very, very aware of energies around you, what people are saying to you. If you don't feel like you're being healed by something, then move on. You know, this relationship is not healing. Oh my God. Makes me mad. This King of Cups. I want the energies behind this because, wow. Pisces. Hmm. Many of you are my friends. Many of you are very lovely and very, very talented people and skillful spiritually. We're not going to let this energy affect you. We're blocking it in the name of Jesus in all matters of a higher authority and of creations. And I'm calling your guides to block and protect you. And right now, and clearing that. Now, clear, clear. Get rid of it. All right, let me see something. You, you're on the path. You're on the path. That's why they're, they're messing with you. You're on the temple path. You're on the right path. You're seeing things correctly. You're serving God. You're doing the best thing within, as within, so as within, and also without. Tell me about this person over here. So you're kind of in the hangman. You're kind of like, okay, I'm going to chillax. I'm, I'm the hermit. I am still going to enjoy life. I'm trying to decide what to do. I definitely don't want to talk to this other person now. Nope. They're very abrupt. They're very much a liar. They're a deceiver. They make me feel like hell. They don't raise my vibration. I'm out. Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. See? They're fucking with your third eye. They want to mess with your third eye. This is your truth. Who you truly are. They want to block your third eye. But guess what? Came out in reverse. So they're unsuccessful in blocking your third eye. Oh, yes, my loves. Whoever this was, you are romantically attached to somebody. Or they are uh, romantically attached to you. And guess what? Because you pulled back three of cups, this is your blossoming abundance. So you pulled back and protected your energy. And your guides are watching over you. I'm going to find out. Give me a second. Archangels, we need you. Why do our Pisces have? Yeah, see? Your numbers are 9, 3, 9, and 12. All numbers of creation. Okay? This person is trying to block your psychic vision. You have to do things to protect yourself. That's why you got healing. Chakra clearing. Oh, yeah. You better get busy. Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Now that that's been said, I'll get my sacred geometry cards. And also, I suggest you get some of this right now. Order some of this off of my Etsy shop or my website, Sacred Holy Anointing Mist. Go get it. Use this. You will be able to put this uh, when you're doing your chakra clearing, when you're doing your yoga, when you're doing your meditations, when you're doing your uh, incantations for protection and safety. This stuff will help you so much. Actually, go get the whole kit. Three bottles, purposeful, intentional sprays. They're uh, made by Metatron. Metatron, help me make that. Where's my uh, geometric cards? Sacred geometry. In language of light. For my Pisces people. Pisces, I love you. I love you very much. You're high vibing Pisces. I dig you. I dig you. I dig you. You're low vibing Pisces. Get your shit together because the rest of us can see you. Oh, did I say that? 
Well, yes, I did. We are using a sacred activation oracle card on this reading because of who you are and what you just got. Show me, please, Spirit. My Pisces, what is the message from Archangel Metatron? Especially if you're a reader. If you're a tarot reader or a healer, this is your message. Fertility, get busy. Don't let anything interfere with your fertility, your ability to grow. It's a frequency that they want you to be in and the frequency of healing. 29, Divine Feminine. Sure, man, that's what I have for you. Now that you got that, I'm going to do two more things. One, I'm going to pull out a secret language of light and find out what this collective of Pisces is about right now. Show me, Holy Spirit, the collective of my Pisces at this time. Join me on Patreon if you have not. I would very much appreciate your monthly support. If you don't want to do that, you can join my channel. If you do join and you comment on my videos um, when I go live, well, I, I'll give you a shout out. And if you join at a $3.99 level, you also qualify for a free reading. So we're doing everything we can. I'm doing everything I can keep up with. Pisces, inner voice. For my Pisces, inner voice, number 28. That's my masculine number. Weird. Let's see what it says for you. Hmm. For healing. Fertility and healing. Inner voice. Persistent words and feelings that represent your greatest desires are dropping into your mind. Instead of putting life off until you do or be something in the future, bring your desires into the present. Anytime we feel like we've gone off track, we have traveled a different road to our soul. And everything becomes a signpost to return us to our center, where we can tune in to our wise transmissions. And just as a voice and a GPS navigator tells you which way to go, your soul wisdom is always leading you toward your destination. Neither will scold you or become impatient if you take the wrong route. They will just adjust, find an alternate route, and they will give you new directions. You can't get it wrong. Listen to recurring words and ideas, pay attention to how they feel, and drive forward with the ones that make you feel, make you, that make your face and your heart smile. Before I go, I want to ask a question with my other deck. I need information on this person over here. This person doing bad magic on you. I want more details on who that is. Show us who it is, Spirit. Open it up, my guides. Give me an identity. Somebody in your family. Ten of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... This person has misplaced love for you. They're doing it the wrong way. They're affecting your path. They think that you, you're putting in a lot of work needlessly. The Ace of Cups came out. But that, that means that you're probably dealing with a delusional family member who doesn't like what you do and is doing love magic on you using the devil using their faith using their words but you're getting a brand new start and you're creating it on your own because you're listening to your inner voice 
to lead you to that new prosperity. And here you go again. There's your confirmation. So you're heading right to joy. No weapon formed against you will prosper. My beautiful, upright Pisces. Romance message for you. Somebody needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone. Someone wants to reconcile. Oh, you have to decide if, uh, if, they, they, if, they're, if they're doing bad juju to get you back. Do you think you want that kind of juju in your life? Think. Past life relationship. Wow. Well, let's see who's guiding. How's this going to turn out for my Pisces at this time? These are timeless. You can pick them up anytime. If you're drawn to this reading, it was if you're watching the reading, it's because you were drawn. And I thank you for being drawn. There's something here that you need. But I can tell you one thing I do have. Love and the Holy Spirit. And a badass, kick-ass spiritual job to protect people. Time to take action, Pisces. New moon in Aries. What's going on here? Who's guiding you? Thank you for your patience. Trust. Vishnu. It's a matter of trust now. You've got to trust yourself. You've got to trust the guides. You are seeing things absolutely as clear as they are. You know, you're on this healing path. Don't let anybody take you off it, okay? Because you're amazing. Love you, love you, love you. If you'd like a private reading, go to my website. Or to my Etsy shop. You can order one there too. And in the meantime, namaste my angels. Go with God. Bye.